right then. Hello again. I finally my new piston has arrived. Still 1139-030-2005 one piece. I don't know why I've even bothered to tell you that. However, it is here. Let's have a look. Um no doubt you can probably remember from the last time. Um it was obvious that the other piston we had a clash and I couldn't fix it for whatever reason, it just couldn't be done. So hence the new piston. So we got uh, where are we? A new pin, and two new clips, C clips. These are the C clips without the ears. Now I learned my lesson last time. I've actually went out and bought myself. I know. I bought out and bought myself um a tool to fit these things. Because instead of taking forever and losing god knows how many it takes seconds to fit here's the piston put that over that way out of the way oh that's good that's already fitted with its um with its own rings uh, all marked up with the exhaust direction so let's see if this thing fits. Um, I'm tempted just to try it, but I'm going to fit it properly. Um, I'm just tempted just to see if it fits down in there. Well, that frankly looks a bit tight at the moment. I'll be honest with you, that looks. But I think that will fit. That's not a problem. So we've got to work out first and foremost which way around this goes. Um, now, I've already checked out that this this is the flywheel end. Okay. And then I'll check on the the um, on the body. Excuse me. There's the body itself. Flywheel goes. I can see. You probably can't see, but this comes out this side. This the flywheel goes in there. So I know now uh, that this the the cylinder will fit down inside. More hands and fingers at the moment, but it will fit down in that way around. So, <coughs> excuse me, I need the piston to face that way. So all in all, crankshaft will fit that way around, like so. And then the piston will go on that way around. So I now know I've got the correct orientation for that all to go together properly. Double check, check twice, like so, and that is correct. So I know that's correct, the correct way around. I know somebody, by the way, noticed the other day on the last one, was it just the fact the crankshaft was the wrong or, or the pistol, or the um, borrow was wrong, but as you can see that it spins normally without that old piston in there, so or that replacement piston in there. So it's obviously a piston problem. So I'm going to now try and fit this piston to the conrod. Now you don't want to watch me doing that because well, there's two reasons. A, I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take. And B, you don't want to hear the bad language when the clips fly off. So um, when I got this back together, uh, or at least when I got the piston into the um, back into the uh, onto the crankshaft, then onto the uh, into the barrel, I'll come back to you and just show you how things are going. I'm going to be using this, by the way, um, to assemble it all. don't know if you can see that. It's uh, called Lucas Oil Products. It's assembly lube, semi-synthetic. I think I could... Well, here we are back. And guess what? It fits. Bit of a devil putting those, getting the piston in there with the rings in the right place, but we got it in there. A little bit of um, friendly persuasion. Now, the big test. Does it work? Well, I can tell you, yes, it does. And it spins through absolutely no problem, at the moment at least. And I am well chuffed, I can tell you. I am well chuffed. Um, so I need to move on. Uh, I'll see how far I get to on this, this particular video, but I'm going to obviously now have to put the uh, seals back in because I can't see a way of sliding them in there once this I think they call it a clamshell 
crankcase cover because the way this is held together and I, I believe it's not orientated I can't see any way around backwards or forwards it goes on like so obviously like so and then into the uh, the body and then the bolts clamp through the body into here so there's nothing holding this together until it goes into the body which is a bit of a devil and I'm trying to work out a way of doing it. I think I've come up with an idea but I'll show you first and foremost I need to put these um, new seals on because obviously I won't be able to do that when it's in place I'm pretty certain I won't be able to um, will I be able to get to it or not I think no rather than take a chance I'm going to take it all apart uh, here's the oil seals these by the way were expensive they were over eight pounds each would you believe for a seal eight pounds I can't believe how expensive they are however that is the case uh, let's lube up first and foremost again a little bit of and I don't use a lot of this stuff just put it in on the uh, on the seal itself just to aid it to slide in and it will slide in obviously so now I start getting problems you'll know that you'll see um, says he there we go it's a bit of a fiddle by looks of things but that one looks like it's in place and then again on the other side this this lubrication stuff is really does make life a lot lot easier it has to be said um, where are we? like so and slide on it should slide on straight forward enough says he at the moment it's not but it will Make sure I've got it around the right way, of course. That's the first and foremost. Um, yes, I do. Mm. That's interesting. Doesn't want to. Oh, yes, it does. Go on there. A little force in the seal outwards. I'm concerned about that. Let's double check that. Yeah, force the seal outwards doing that. Hmm, let's put a little bit more lube on there. Here we go. Damage that seal, I don't think I have. Seems alright. Oh dear dear. Let's try again. Slightly slides on better like that. That's a really tight fit, you know. I'm not overconfident with that, to be honest with you. So I'm like, it's gone on there. And it's, then sits in as the other one did on the other side. It's on there. I'm not confident with that one, I'll be honest with you. It shouldn't really stick out like that, that I, to my mind at least, anyway, but... Uh, because the other one's all the other one's doing it as well to be fair so let's let's just go with it let's go with it so there that's the seals in place and join me hands in it they're in place and a good seal like so then the clip has to go on this famous clip here it is uh i'm dreading this damn thing it should be fine actually put them on you get a bit more control, <laughs> says he. Just to slot it in place. Um, this then just slots down into this um, groove here. Let me get my hands out of the way. Which hopefully the seal itself will be out the way. Yes. Hopefully that's better. Oh, I'm not over pleased with that. Let's get this um, clip on. I 
I'm not good with these clips, as we said. Nearly in the right place. There it is, that's got him. That's it, he's in place, good. And I suppose that the idea of that is it then stops anything from moving outwards. I really don't like those seals. I'm sure they shouldn't be sticking out like that, but oh well, we'll see. Okay, well, there's only one way to find out in there. And then obviously that, that all clops on, and we're, the job is a good one. We hope. You can see all that's going to clamp together nicely. I don't know if you can see in the picture the fact the seal seems to protrude out. Um, it certainly won't protrude in, that's a fact. Okay, let's go with it. Let's go with it. So the next job, it's a job I've thought been worrying about. Well, no, I don't worry about anything. We're going to have to um, put on the old gasket gunk, whatever it's called. This is the stuff I bought. Again, this comes from Steel. Well, these are recommended by them. And the idea being, that's all this stuff, which is pretty manky. You can see that it's got grooves all the way around, I don't know if you can see there. And the idea is to get the, the goo in there to build up it, and then I'm guessing squeeze in to make the seal. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a brush. Bear with me a second. I've got a. I use small brushes. I use for my rod building gear. Would you believe? Just bear with me a second. I've actually got uh, two options here. We can either use, as I say, one of these brushes that I use for rod building, or even one of the uh, sticks. <coughs> I'm going to try to start off with at least. I'm going to try and brush it on. So I'm going to use use my fingers. This is when you find it's all gone off. <laughs> we should very nearly has. So there we go. Give it that for a spit. Of course, it's quite cold out here at the moment, so this stuff doesn't really want to move very far or very fast. Well, there we go. It's quite thick, actually. So I'm just going to... I don't know if I'm doing this right now or not. I just don't know. But I do know I do need a gasket on here. And this may well be too much of it. It's a, I saw a chap trying to sell what he said was original um, never been used complete engine for steel. And he showed a picture of it and had this this red stuff all over the place. And he said well, that's where they fit it at the uh, at the factory. I don't believe that's true. I got a feeling somebody somewhere is maybe telling a couple of porky pies. Who knows? So, there we go. And then we fit it on, put it all in place. And then the fun starts. So let's get us on place for it. It takes a while to go off, I believe, anyway, so it's no huge rush. I know you talk this down to nine newton meters or nine point five newton meters it has to talk down to. But how to hold that on before I um put it back together? So I have a couple of idea. Elastic band. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna loop the elastic band over the top of it, hold it all together. And I'm hoping that we'll just hold it all together to give me time 
to get it back in the right place. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm covered in this stuff now. Hang on a second, let me get cleaned up before we go any further. Bear with me. Oh dear lord. I'm absolutely covered in it. Okay. Right. So, the proof, as they say, is in the pudding. Here's the body. Now I have to get this engine down into the uh, into the body for the for the shafts, different shafts uh, through the holes. It can only go on one way. This is when you find you've got it all back the front. That way. <laughs> Which is going to be that way. Which is wrong. So, spot the deliberate mistake. Despite all my measurements, all my checking, I've actually managed to put the shaft in opposite way around. I thought it was being clever. That's how it goes in, as you can see. But I've ended up with the clutch end of the crankshaft on the wrong side. So I need to take it apart and turn it around. <laughs> and you thought I was doing well then, didn't you? Well, there we go. So I need to strip it down again and turn that crankshaft around and start all over again. Catch you later.